Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know that I've been gone for a while, but I promise you I'm coming out with new content that I'm sure will please a lot of you. This is the first installment of a little series I would like to call 716 Eats, where I will be trying foods from different restaurants and telling you how they are. Sort of like a food review, sort of like a mukbang, whatever you wanna say it is. Um, apart from that, I also want to give information about where they are and things like that. These are not sponsored in any way, but I think that it's a great idea to show people what Buffalo has to offer. Um, a lot of people come to Buffalo like celebrities and things, and they have no idea what hidden food gems are actually hidden around here. And with that being said, I also want to do places around Buffalo and surrounding areas that people might like to visit. Um, I know that I've been gone for a very long time. Trust me, I will explain everything soon. But for right now, let's get down to some very good food and we'll talk about the boring stuff later. So Louisiana Cookery is a restaurant and food truck. Um, their brick and mortar is located on Walden links to their website their address everything will be in the link in the description below all that good stuff um so today we are going to be trying food from a local spot that wasn't so local at first they were just here um in the summer uh for about three years and they drove all the way here in a food truck from louisiana um they started off just doing the food truck thing here in Buffalo, which we have the food truck Tuesday down at Larkin Square where, you know, a whole bunch of stuff is and you can eat and all that good stuff. But we are going to be trying Louisiana Cookery, where they specialize in Cajun style cuisine. Um, my mom really enjoys this place. I have only had a couple of things from this place. So there are three dishes here that I've tried but haven't tried um one of them I haven't tried um the other one I've tried but the other one I have not tried my mom actually tried it before me actually I had a sample of it at the restaurant when I went to go pick the food up but that's besides the point so without any further ado let's get down to the video start us off we are going to be trying shrimp well crawfish at etouffee um this is a Cajun dish, which I mean, they do nothing but Cajun, which I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's crawfish and okra and celery and just a mixture of spices and things like that. And then there's rice that goes under it to give it, you know, that heartiness and meal that people really want can you guys hear that I don't know if you can hear it but it sounds really good so let's just dig right in I'm gonna try to get some crawfish some okra some rice all in one bite and this is one of the dishes I have not tried yet from them but my mom says it's to die for, so let's go ahead and try. If you like Cajun style cuisine, this is by far the best. It's got a little bit of a kick, that Cajun seasoning in there, and then it's tied together with that gravy that roux that's really really good if you can see from there that's a lot of flavor on there i can definitely see myself like ordering this every time and not even getting tired of it there's a kick you really don't need any hot sauce, but they gave us hot sauce anyway. It's just really good. I 
And it makes me happy. It just... It makes me feel warm. Like, it's a real hearty dish. Okay, one more bite and then I'm done. Child. Okay, I'm done. Because it's really good and I will sit here and eat the whole thing on camera and not feel guilty about it. Like I said, it's really Cajun. I mean, there's a ton of spices. The crawfish is really fresh. Everything is cooked to perfection. The rice isn't really broken or anything. It just has this creaminess about it that ties all that flavor, that Louisiana flavor together. And it's just really good. I don't know how to else how else to explain it. There's a kick. There's a light, airy taste to the rice. There's just so much and it's so delicious. Definitely on the list of things to get if you ever visit. So next on the menu, we have andouille sausage with grits. Can you guys just like see? It's life. It's just life. Look at that. You have bacon. You have some cheese. You have green onions. Spicy and dewy sausage. And this is one of the dishes that I have had. And like, it's steaming hot after like a half an hour. And it just... The smell of it, oh my god, if you guys could like smell it, like you guys can smell it, oh my god, but bacon bits and oh, it's everything. And this is one of my mom's favorites because she has gastroparesis, so she can't really eat a lot of harsh foods and rice and things are sort of harsh, but grits is a smaller grain that she can eat that she really enjoys. And this right here is perfect. So let's dig in. Oh my God. I'm gonna try to make sure I get like everything. So like already, it's just popping. It looks popping, okay? When I tell you it look popping, don't it look popping? It look popping, don't it, okay? I got a little bit of sausage, a little bit of bacon, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of onion on there, okay? So let's try. So when I tell you everything in this dish, so good. The grits itself, creamy, cheesy, soft, and then they hit you with the andouille sausage, which is spicy, but not overpowering when they top it off with the bacon bits and the onion it sets it off it's absolutely perfect the cheesiness and the spiciness and the bite of the onion complement each other so well it's absolutely delicious i could finish this whole thing just like the shrimp etouffee but I have to stop myself. Because so good. 
so freaking good. And I haven't had a lot of Cajun style food before. So, for all of these flavors to be hitting me all at once, it's a whole new experience. And for this to be authentic, I truly get a sense, like a sense of the, the Cajun cooking. There's spices, there's flavors, but none of them counteract each other. All of them work in unison. It's so good. And I still have one more thing to go through, but this is just perfect. Oh, let's move on to the next thing. I'm back. So, the last thing on our menu is a dish that they let me try at the counter. I really didn't get a full taste of it, but it was just a sample. And the edge was sort of like crunchy, but I like that. And my mother got into the container and my cousins before I did. But... It's this. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's called crawfish bread. So, as I can see, they took crawfish, some cheese. Already I can smell the Cajun seasoning, the hot sauce, the uh, adobe, everything, okay? That's in there. On garlic bread or French bread and added it and it just looks amazing. I had just like a very little corner of it that looked so good. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it and see how it is. I'm gonna look for a pair, like a spot where everything is good. Like, see right there, that's what I want right there. Mmm. Oh my god. It's so good. I know I look fat. I am fat, but I know I look horribly fat. But there's some kind of sauce on here. Which I'm guessing is Ramalot, and I'm not sure what Ramalot is, but I know it's really good. And you have the crawfish, the cheese, there's garlic, there's onions, Cajun seasoning, and then there's a bit of a spice to it. This is just amazing. It's so good. Like, it's worth every bite like you just don't want to put this down this is a comfort food this tastes like a comfort food this is a comfort food okay mm. and again the crawfish isn't overcooked if anything it's like excellent perfect Need to eat more of the bread because it's like a half an hour old. Isn't really crispy anymore, but they popped it in the oven when it's ordered. So you're not like waiting around. They're pulling the grits right out of the pot when you order. They're chopping up and cooking the sausage right when you order. Nothing's like been sitting out for three hours and underneath the heat lamp. Everything is fresh and perfect. The crawfish, the grits, the crawfish bread, everything is just so good. I would recommend everything here. All in all, everything I tried here from Louisiana Cookery 
is worth every penny that I paid. They also have drinks and beverages that I didn't get, but this was just a taste of what Cajun food is and I can't think of a better place, definitely in Buffalo, that can give me that authentic flavor to go. This is just excellent. I love it. I will leave links in the description below to Louisiana Cookery's website, their address, their phone number, everything. They're also on the local Skip the Dish, definitely if you live in this area. Um, and I will give times and things like that all in the description. And once again, I hope you have enjoyed my video. If you have, please like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to share on all flat platforms of social media. I will leave a link to my Instagram and a link to my Facebook page down in the description. And as always, much love. Thank you guys.